So as you guys can tell by the title of the video, Chris Eubanks Sr. was uh, recently admitted into a mental health hospital over in the UK. As we all know, there's a big fight coming up this weekend, this Saturday on the 8th of October, with his son, Jr., Chris Eubanks Jr., fighting Conor Ben, the son of uh, Sr.'s rival, Nigel Ben. It's a big fight over in the UK. Uh, we may not feel it here in the States, but uh, based off what I've been seeing, it, it looks like it's going to be a big fight in the UK. Um, to be shown live on the zone, by the way, the zone pay per view for uh, the UK fight fans. Anyway, uh, nosmokeboxing.com recently uh, reported that Eubank Sr. Uh, was admitted into a Langford Mental Health Hospital, um, which is in East Sussex, England. Now, I don't know how mental hospitals work over in the UK, uh, but, you know, just reading the article, um, he was admitted into it uh, under some section of law, uh, 137 of mental health in 1983. And it says here, like, section 137 allows for constable or any other person required or authorized by or by virtue of this act to take any person into custody or to convey or detain any person shall, for the purpose of taking him into custody or conveying or detaining him, have all the powers, authorities, protection, and privileges which a constable has within the area for which he acts as constable. Hmm, yeah, I'd have to search more of what those words mean, to be honest. But yeah, No Smoke Boxing was able to get some of these uh, pictures and, you know, they blurred out the... Uh, uh, they blurred out a lot of personal um, information. Uh, I don't know how they were able to get this info, but somehow they did. And um, and yeah, uh, I wish you nothing but the best for Chris Eubank Sr. Hopefully he's seeing the right people uh, to help him with whatever mental health he's going through. Um, and hopefully he's taking the prescribed medication that they're giving him. And... Uh, and yeah, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this is because uh, obviously his son is fighting soon. And, you know, his son actually wishes for him to be in his corner come fight night. And Eubank Sr. has been previously in the corner of Eubank Jr. But for whatever reason, this fight, um, you know, Sr. is not really a big fan of this fight. Recently, he he's calling for everybody to boycott this fight. You know, saying that um, people shouldn't buy it, people don't support it, and he talked about how this is how brain injuries occur. Um, you know, talking about the amount of weight that Junior has to lose, the uh, 157 pound catch weight uh, that he has to lose, um, and also the rehydration clause. Uh, last month, I believe he said that the fight got canceled. Even though there wasn't any official announcement, Eubank Sr. went on to say that the fight's not happening, but obviously it's still happening. So, I don't know what Eubank Sr. is going through, but um, but yeah, it, it looks like you know him and his son, has uh, they have to deal with something after this fight. Um, so, I, I honestly wish nothing but the best for Sr. Uh, I, I truly hope he's getting the help that he needs. And, um, and then talking to the right people. Uh, I don't know how mental hospitals work in the UK. Uh, because it seems like he's out. So, so yeah, so I guess they can't hold him there. Uh, like I said, I don't know how it works in the UK, but like I said, I wish nothing but the best for a senior. And, uh, you know, hopefully he's getting the help he needs. Let me know your thoughts and comments. And anyway, also... Hopefully he he ends up actually supporting his son because I feel like he he needs to be out there and supporting his son. He may not agree with the weight and this and that, but um, I hope he he actually shows up and supports his own son. I feel like Eubank Jr. needs that. I I think you know that's something that uh, a son would like their father to do is for you know their father to support them, especially for a big fight like this fight. That's uh, coming up this weekend, especially for a rivalry like this that went on to the next generation. I mean, Senior and Nigel Ben went at it for what, two, three fights? I, I, 
I'm not, I don't know, to be honest. Um, you know, they fought at a time when I wasn't even born. I think the first fight took place before I was born. And, um, and yeah, and now here are their sons, Eubank Jr. and, and Ben, uh, Connor Ben, uh, fighting this weekend. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.